Hi everyone, my name is David and in this video I'd like us to look at an upcoming feature in Subtitle Edit. It's still in beta and it's a feature that I think is going to be beneficial especially if you'd like to provide a short sample of banding subtitles to your client before you ban in the whole project in Subtitle Edit. Now, the feature is available in, in the beta version so you can always download the beta versions here. They are constantly updated with new features. Now, I've already downloaded and we can check about it. It's the beta 3.6.11, next beta 137. Now, uh, we're going to begin by adding in a video. Let's add a video. And then we can decide to actually use Whisper, audio to text via Whisper. We're going to use the CPP mode. If you right click, we have OpenAI, Whisper CPP, and also another upcoming feature for subtitle edit for Windows, Whisper const me that supports GPU. But let's go with CPP, click on generate. Uh, this is going to take about 20 something seconds if I'm not mistaken. Should be about um, roughly 25 seconds. Now, if you've ever been in a position where you need to just send a, a short sample to a client for review so that they can agree if the subtitles are banding correctly, if the font is what they want, if the size is what they want, then this is for you. Uh, so it's going to take about 26 seconds. So we've got the subtitles here. And this is just for demonstration purposes. Now, this feature is really awesome. So go to video, generate video with banding sub. Now, this is the feature. It's called the cut feature. If you check it, you can be able to add time codes here. And then you can also be able to seek right here where you want the subtitles. Let's say that's the in, click OK. And then you can come in here and click maybe the out uh, to be somewhere, let's say there. Click OK. So you now get these particular one minute, eight seconds to three minutes, 12 seconds, if that is what you wanted. Alternatively, let's cancel this. You can select a couple of lines here. I'll click on the first line and then uh, hold shift and click on this other line. And then right click, go to selected lines, generate video with band in sub. And when you come here, you get from the zero minute right here to the 10 second right here if you look at this it's almost uh, kind of like 10 seconds so that's really really awesome because you now get the chance to send a short sample to your client before burning in the subtitles please know that this is not the font it's going to burn in so you need to do a preview because it takes up these settings to see how your video is going to look like and these are what the subtitles are going to be looking like so if you need to make any adjustments just come here uh, maybe let's say we go with something like Arial. Go with Arial. Uh, let's preview that. What we get with the Arial font looks a little bit better uh, depending on what you're trying to achieve. So always make sure that uh, you do a preview before you burn in because the font that is here is what is going to be burned into the video, not what you have as your default for a subtitle display when you're previewing your subtitles. So I just wanted to introduce the video cut uh, option that is going to be available when you're burning in subtitles in Subtitle Edit. It's a highly welcome feature. Also, if you, you'd like to add some more requests for this particular feature or any other request, you can always go to GitHub. Uh, I believe uh, I'll leave the link below. Uh, add an issue here and see hopefully if Nix is going to add or maybe better what we have in Subtitle Edit. That's it for this video. Until next time. Stay safe and never stop learning. Thanks for watching.